recap. Oh man. I mean, SmackDown kind of was like raw. Lame. It was boring. It was like, it wasn't like getting us excited. No, it was more talk. It was more like predictable. We knew that was going to happen. We knew that was going to happen. Some we, of the matches. You know? Repeat. Yeah. It's, it, they, they need to like do interesting things. Like, you know what they need to do? They need to bring back like wrestlers like Hornswoggle, the little guys, and oh. maybe do like a little skit or something. Um, well, what started off SmackDown was Miss TV. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he's coming out, he's introducing his guests, but the way he said it, <laughs> this is funny though, the way he said it, he goes, the Scottish psychopath, and then the breast in the world, oh, wait, wait. The best in the world. Yeah. That was funny. And then they come out. And Mrs. is pretty much saying that he wants he wants Shane McMahon. He wants to fight him again. He wants to prove that Shane's not the best in the world. And he agrees with Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns. Oh, yeah. My man. <laughs> and he agrees with him that Shane doesn't he doesn't deserve to win because Drew McIntyre did all the work and whatnot. And of course Drew's just saying he's beating Roman, blah blah blah. Um and then Shane's like, Alright, alright, Miz, you want that dream match with me? Um, you ha you you have to uh first beat Elias. Death with Elias. And if you beat Elias, then you gotta beat Drew McIntyre. Yeah. Playboy. And then you get your wish and go against yep. me. Yep, it's a dream wish. So the first match was Miz and Elias. Mm -hmm. He actually beat Elias. He won with a school coaster finale on him. Ha <laughs> ha. And then end up going right to Miz versus Drew McIntyre. And of course, Miz is actually going at him, but you um, got Shane trying to distract the ref. Of course. But, yeah, Drew McIntyre beat The Miz because he did a Claymore kick to him. Of course he did. Because of Shane McMahon helping because he knows he's going to damn it. But Shane's like, because Miz is on the ground all hurt from the Claymore kick. He's like, you know what, you know what? I'll give you that match. We'll do, we'll do it right now. We'll do it right now. Mm -hmm. So he made the match, him and Miz. And he's like hitting him, hitting him, and then he puts him in the submission mood and... He made him tap. Yeah, why not? Well, the man is already down. Yeah, that just shows, uh, yeah. Loser. You're not best in the world if you do that. You're the loser in the world. And then, there was a backstage segment with Amber Moon, Mandy Rose, and Sonya Deville. Amber Moon was playing, or reading, was she playing a game? Yeah, she was playing a game. And M Mandy and Sonya's like, you don't need to play these little kitty games. Read something good in there. Just do that magazine crap again. And so you did something to Amber Moon, like got her all pissed off and like went. And Mandy's like, nah, nah. You don't need to deal with her. Let's go focus on your match tonight against Carmella. So. And then. Let's see. And then. You have um, Dana Bryan and Ro Eric Rowan coming out. They're talking. They're talking. They're supposed to be going against this freaking, I would say, a YOLO tag team. It's like a, I would say, local talent. And they have these freaking cardboard championship belts. Yeah. And they were gonna, they were gonna fight them, but then they got interrupted by heavy machinery. Oh man. <laughs> I'm sorry. What <Well>, Otis? <laughs> He, he, I'm sorry, but he's kind of like our one cousin. I'm sorry. Jay! Yeah, Jay. And guess what? It's his birthday today, so Jay, there you go. Yeah, Jay. <laughs> Look at that, Otis, and then there. Yeah. And then, uh, I mean, Machine here just proved that song is saying they're the blue, co blue collar, whatever. And saying, yeah, yeah, we're the best, whatever. And they, they pretty much wants to fight Rowan and Daniel. And Daniel Bryan Rowan's like, well, Daniel said it. He's like, 
Um, why don't you try and get it, earn a shot and face these tag team? And they accepted, mm-hmm. obviously. They, and they they win, obviously. Of course they're winning. They, um, Otis did a caterpillar. Yeah. <laughs> and he did the elbow on him, and then he tagged, and then they both did their tag team move, and pinned them. Yeah. So, that was that. After the match, Rowan uh, wanted to go in after them, but Brian kept them back. So. Yep, 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 yep. And then there was a backstage segment again with Truth to Carmella, of course. And Truth, Truth was like, this title's ruining my life. But, 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 I can't let it go, though. And then there was like a little noise or something, and... Yeah. And then Carmella was like, Oh no, we heard something. Here, go in this the bo- this blue box thing. Go in this. And then... And seeing them to clear. It's like, okay, okay. Oh no, it's 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 locked. Truth, it's locked. Yeah. And then someone tells Carmella her match is up. With Sonya Ville. And she goes, oh. And then she goes, hold on. I have to go and focus on my mask. Don't leave or move, Truth. And then you got Jinder Mahal coming. It's like, Truth? And then he's talking like Carmella while well, trying to. And of course, our truth so burnt, he fucking listens to it. Like, like, don't breathe, don't like... No, don't, I, I'll, I'll go get a crowbar. I'll, I'll be right get, back. I'll be right back. <laughs> Hold on. And then he goes right to the Carmella and Sonya Deville match. And, of course, Sonya Deville wins. By distraction, by Mandy Rose, because... Worse. Carmella, close to the end of the match, Carmella suicide died both Car- both of them out to the outside. And she puts Sonya back in the ring and she's going to the ring and Mandy grabs her foot. And then Carmella super kicks Mandy Rose. And then when she's going back in the ring, she gets caught in, um, it's like she ran, she ran, like a running high knee thing. So that's what she did. That was that. Oh, and then you have the Alexa Bliss and Nikki Nikki Cross. I almost said Nikki Bella. Nikki Cross. Yeah. Um, Bliss, of course, she's trying to manipulate Nikki Cross again, saying that Becky Becky liked the comment thing about you. You should like, but I can't, I can't show you because I blocked Bailey a long time ago. She's just what trying she to did. pretend to be your friend, man. No, yeah, I know what no, she's trying Nikki. to do. She sh- I know what she's trying to do. She's trying to get Nikki to be uh, on her side so when it gets to the title shot, Nikki can help her win that title. That's what she's doing. Yeah, she's just using you. Yep. Don't fall for it, Nikki. Yep. And then, New Day's out. They're That's just fun. talking. Obviously, they're talking. Um... They're, and then they're talking, and then they're saying how welcome that everybody's welcome that Biggie's back. Yeah. Biggie, you shaking his head. No, thank you. I can't stand Biggie. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't like Kofi Kingston and Xavier Woods. But they're just talking, and then they get interrupted by um, Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn, and Dolph Ziggler. Ziggy Wiggy. They gotta switch that, man. Put put Ziggy Wiggy with Xavier Woods and Kofi Kingston and then take Big E and put him with those two. Perfect combination. But, of course, Sami Zayn and Co. No. Dolph Ziggler was just pretty much saying how he deserves a title. He's gonna win a Stomba Ground. Blah, blah, blah. We already heard this. It's like a rematch. It's all rematches pretty much at Stomba Ground. Really. All rematches. Like, come on. Need some new guys or do something. Um. And then they're just yapping. Oh yeah, yeah. Whatever you say, Ziggler. And then, um, I forgot what Kevin Owens Sami Zayn said. <laughs> I think that, I don't really know what. Because all you hear is porta potty out of their mouths and garbage. <laughs> That's all you hear out of their mouths. But um, and then, you know, and then. There was Bailey. She was walking for her their match. She she got stopped to do like a little interview, and then Bailey's like, "I don't 
have a problem with Nikki Cross, but if she wants to get caught up with this Alexa Bliss kind of drama thing, whatever. And but when what I do to Nikki tonight, Alexa will see. That's what I'll do with her at Stomping Grounds, and I will still be the SmackDown Women's Champion. And then she's um coming. She's coming out in her match with Nikki Cross. Going up after her. And of course, Bailey wins. She beats her. And Alexa, she she um goes to the top rope. She points to um Alexa Bliss. And she does the top elbow. In memory of Macho Man. And um. Alexa was like looking on like. <laughs> She's like I told you. I told you. And, um, then you got Gina Mahal, he's back, he's asking around, he's like, where's these boxes, where are they, where are they, and then the guy says, they're going to Raw in LA, and then, so, and Truth's in the box talking, talking, Carmel's saying, well, true, truth, right, true, true, that was funny, um, and then Alistair so Black, just like another promo again. He he just wants a fight. He's asking, "Come to me, come to me. I want to fight." Or whatever. He just wants a challenge or whatever. Who will challenge Alistair Black? Come on, we need him to fight already. We don't need him to sit down. No, 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 no. Come on, no. Um. And now we got the New Day match oh, yeah. versus Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn, Ziggler. New Day wins. Kofi ends up doing a trouble in paradise to, um, who was it? Was it Ziggler? I think it was Ziggler. Yeah, yeah I think it was because the way he moved. No, or Sami Zayn. Wait, no, are you sure? It was like Sami Zayn tapped. Yeah, he tagged him in. Because Biggie did belly to belly on Ziggler and then, um, he tagged Kofi, and then uh, Ziggler, he got to Zane, and then, yeah. It's hard to me, I wrote it so tiny. <laughs> it's alright. <laughs> but, um, but anyway, in that outcome, he, Kofi did Trouble in Paradise to Ziggler, mm -hmm. so. Yeah, it's always rematches. All rematches. I don't know, I say. Well, if it's a repeat match, then they should change it up a bit. Should like, look, something. here are here are matches so far. Dolph vs. Kofi, seen it already. Roman vs. Drew, seen it already. Seth vs. Baron Corbin, seen it already. What else? Shane vs. The Miz. Right? No. No, 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 no. Wait, no. But, uh, get my point. Same matches. Oh, no, Becky and Lacey Evans. Same match. Sarah had one. Repeat matches, pretty much. That's what it is. But that was SmackDown Live. What did you thought about yeah. it? Did you thought it was eh? Do you not, really not think too, they not need to change excited? it up again? So yeah, just let us know. Let us know. Yeah, we it was, it was kind of like iffy. Yeah, just let us know. That's, that's all I gotta say is let us know. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. And hey. now it's 205 Live. Yeah, yeah. Oh boy, they actually had three matches. Which was pretty good. Because I think last week was two. Yeah. Um, it actually is a big. Oh, it got already Jack out here already in the ring. And he's you going to get. You could totally recognize him with his. White skin and his ugly looking socks. <laughs> she always points out those socks. It's weird and the way he stands, like, come on. But he's actually going against a familiar wow. wrestler, Chad Gable, and he cut his hair. It's like. Like, whoa. Whoa. It looks totally different. Kind of looks better with short hair, I say. I was like, okay, you don't want to do, you, you're not on roll, don't want to do roll and smackdown, you want to do 205 Live. Okay. But, um, 
Um, they were in the beginning. They were pretty much uh, doing that. Uh, you what you can do, I can do better thing. Like they were like holding each other's hands and like you know slamming back and forth. But and then uh, G Gallagher in the, like in the match, he um lift up Gable, holding him like just kept holding him, like holding him like this. And they and he was holding the other uh, where they were holding. I don't think so, but whatever. <laughs> yeah, well, they the where they were holding each other. That that was a little okay. Who could hold their uh, yeah? <laughs> um, but ends up winning by count out. I don't know if he got in. Well, it looked like he got in ring, but I guess yeah, yeah, it, yeah. I guess it does, I guess the ref counts it as a count out. Cause even though he got half, it, like he just got in there when he hit ten. Like, Right when he hit 10, when he was counting the ref, he, like, got right under the rope. So, I don't know, but I guess he counted as a win for Jack Gable as a count off. Yeah. And you see Jack Allen go all the way on the stage going, so. And shaking his head like, mm-hmm. But, because, um, Gable suplexed, um, Galher outside the ring, and that's why I made him all wobbly and off his feet. So he tried to get back in the ring. He might need a new, another cup of tea. I guess that's what they uh, yeah, tea. ate. Can I have a cup of tea? <laughs> and biscuits. <laughs> mm. With his weird looking mustache. And then he got um, the Singh brothers. Oh my uh. god, they're pretty much going against Lokotan again. Really, that's all they do, whatever. And then let's just sway their hips like they Sway the hips again. <laughs> okay. Weird, but okay. But, um, they're going to be going against, uh, they're actually going to be going against actually a team. They're going against Lynn Storato and Grim At least they're going against a real team yeah. next week. But they won against the little Catalan with a top elbow while the other was holding the opponent. Whatever. Of course, let's just put weird looking with the other team, whatever. Yep. And then you got Tony Nese, he's pretty much ready. Yeah, checker. <laughs> He's pretty much ready for whoever. He's tired of waiting. The reason why he's the star athlete. That's pretty much what he's saying. And then you got Mike and Maria. They're just backstage. Mike's jealous because he didn't have the match with Chad Gable. Got to give it to Jack Gallagher. And then Jake mentioned something about status. And Murray said, don't worry about our status. Worry about your own or whatever. So there's that. Because Trick was like, what did you guys do? That's that's why you didn't get the match. What do you guys do about except complain? Yep, ever since you got here, you complained. You know, they, they, might, they might actually go over to Raw or SmackDown. Since Chad Gable's now on that, I don't know. Yep. And then you got the main event. A fatal four-way to actually go for Tony's belt. Kira Tosawa, Oni Lorcan, Humberto Carrillo, Drew Gulak. Mm -hmm. Um, Arya hit the Oni with a chair. Humberto, Morgan. and then Humberto and Akira, okay, this is at the, close at the end of the match. Humberto and Akira at the top row corner, and then Drew pushed Humberto off it, and he hit really hard on the fucking barricade. Yep. And, um, and they both get in, and, well, and then... They both slam each other, and when they, well, Dre, Drew slammed, and then they both, like, pinned each other. Like in a ball, like a big... Yeah. And then they both pinned, so they both have a winner, and then Drake's out, they're both wondering, and then they're both raising, one rest raising this hand, raising this hand, and then Drake has to make a decision. Yeah. And it ended like that, so probably find out next week, so. Yeah. But that was 205 Live, um... What did you guys think? Yeah, let us know what you thought of 205 Live. And yeah. make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.